Well, I haven't done one of these for a while, so I thought it was time for another cheap electronics kit. I believe this one is supposed to be a clock. I bought this off eBay for £7 delivered. So we'll get it opened up, see what's in here. A nice collection of parts. Now, as ever, this is not a full review. This is just a bit of fun, and I just want to see if this kit is uh, worth the seven pounds I paid for it, and um, if it seems to have any educational value or what the fun value is, and um, whether I would uh, recommend buying this just as I say for a bit of fun. So, first impression is fairly good. The PCB looks to be reasonable quality. So that looks uh, quite reasonable. Um, mixture of surface mount and through hole um, components. A uh, lot of LEDs. So I think this is a digital display clock with uh, an analog kind of uh, or kind of analog outer ring for the either minutes or seconds, and uh, we'll see how well that works. See what's in the bag. So nice little collection of parts. None are really identified. We've got a couple of resistors. Um, we can probably just read under the microscope what's uh, written on those. Normally there's an indication as to the value, uh, but there's a different number of them, so we should be able to figure out by looking at the PCB uh, which ones go where. Uh, no instructions with this, as you can see, so we'll have to uh, kind of play it by ear. But the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where the resistors go and uh, get those soldered on. Uh, there are components on both sides of this board, so uh, I'll need to make uh, fairly sure I understand uh, which parts go where. So uh, I'll do a, a quick check, figure out uh, what's going on. And there doesn't seem to be any indication as to the values on the board. Um, you can no doubt download the um, instructions for this, but uh, we'll try and build this without first and uh, see how far we get. So, as I say, first thing I'll do is get the uh, resistors fitted and uh, we'll go from there. I've soldered all the resistors onto the board and um, it's fairly easy to figure out which is which. If it connects through to an LED or uh, the display, uh, it's a 47 ohm resistor and if it goes to the base of one of the transistors, it's a 10K. So, fairly easy to sort that out. Um, Again, these aren't uh, marked. You could try measuring them if you have uh, an LC uh, meter. So uh, uh, what I'm doing here is there are two capacitors in this pack and four in this. And I'm assuming that the two or the pair of capacitors are the uh, capacitors for the crystal. So there's a, uh, a watch crystal um, and a processor crystal. So looking at the way the board's laid out, it would appear that the um, two capacitors down here are for the uh, main crystal. So I'll use those for that purpose and the rest are probably just the decoupling capacitors. Again, I'll do a count up and see if it um, tallies with what's on the board and the footprints that are there. Um, but it seems um, fairly likely that's the case. And uh, I'll get those fitted. And uh, while I'm at it, I will also fit all the transistors, again, surface mount. Um, I believe there's a through-hole version of this kit available as well, so if you're not comfortable soldering surface mount components, I think you can get a through-hole uh, version of this. So that's all these surface mount components fitted. Um, fairly easy to figure out which goes where. Uh, all the transistors, of course, are all the same. The two values of resistors are uh, fairly obvious which goes where, depending on whether they're supplying a current to a, a diode or one of the LED displays, or if they're driving one of the transistors. And the capacitors, uh, the two were in fact for the uh, watch crystal, and the uh, remaining four were just decoupling caps. So the next thing to fit uh, is the main decoupling capacitor and uh, I'll fit the two crystals and the two sockets. So that's the two crystals fitted, the two sockets and the main smoothing cap. Next things I'll fit are the three push buttons 
the USB connector, battery backup socket, and uh, I'm not going to bother fitting the uh, interface connector. I'm hoping that the uh, microcontroller is already programmed. Um, so let me fit this if I need it. Um, so I'll get these parts fitted and we'll go from there. Okay, that's those parts fitted. This board does take solder very nicely, so it's uh, very easy to assemble this and no real dramas with it. Uh, all the parts seem to fit nicely. It would be nice if the instructions were included. I'll have a search before I post this video and if I can find any information on this kit I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, but next it's the LEDs and looking at the board the hour positions are marked and there are 12 red LEDs so it looks like there's a red LED for each of the hour positions and then all the rest will be green. So I'll get those soldered in and uh, we'll see how it looks. That's all the LEDs soldered onto the board and all I have to do now is solder the seven segment display into place, plug the two ICs in and we can try and power this up and see what it does. That's the kit fully assembled except for the program header. I'm going to leave this off. I'm hoping that the microcontroller is actually programmed. I've got that plugged in and um, I haven't fitted a uh, battery backup, that's just I assume to retain the time if the main power is removed. So there's a sounder on here, so uh, possibly this has an alarm uh, function. Don't have any instructions for this of course, and um, we'll see uh, what happens. So it's time to power it up, see if the magic smoke escapes or if it actually works. It's a nice kit to assemble, the, the board did solder well, nice mixture of surface mount and through hole plenty of components to fit so uh, quite an interesting kit bit of fun took about half an hour and um, would make a nice sort of evenings uh, work if you're just getting into electronics so enough talking it's time to uh, plug this in so I've got this connected to a uh, USB power source and we'll plug this in and see what happens and the answer is uh, nothing so Perhaps we have to press one of the buttons. So they are labelled RST, presumably reset, mode and plus. I'll try pressing the reset button, see what happens. Okay, well it's doing something. I'm not quite sure what it's doing, but uh, we'll try pressing the buttons and see what uh, it does. Is. I've got absolutely no idea what it's doing. So let's try pressing that again. This is the plus button I'm pressing. It's making some fancy patterns, but I can't see how to adjust the time. I'm noticing, I'm noticing some flickering on the camera viewfinder that's not visible in real life, so that's just most likely an artifact of the camera shutter speed. I'll try pressing the mode button. So it seems that's taking us through some settings. I'm not sure if this is the time or the date. Okay, I've got absolutely no idea what it's doing. So um, I need to try and find the instructions somewhere uh, to figure out exactly how to make this work. It's obviously cycling through various settings, but I don't know what those settings are. They don't seem to make a great deal of sense. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. It seems to be working, but I just don't know how to use it. Um, there is flickering on the camera that's not evident in real life and um, it does at the moment seem to be cycling through uh, temperature, date and time. So presumably you can 
set it on one or the other and uh, adjust them all uh, as they should be. So this time we have digital display of the time as well as the analog display around the outside. OK, well anyway, it seems to be working. Now as far as the value for money is concerned, um, I think this was quite an interesting kit to put together. It certainly seemed to be worth what I paid for it. I'm not sure if you can still get them for the same uh, price. I paid £7 for this delivered and what's about a year ago or so. Chances are it's more expensive now. But certainly an interesting kit. It um, all went together nicely and as with a lot of these kits, if you do fit the program header, this might make quite an interesting basis for your own projects or experimentation. You can reprogram the microcontroller, get this to do various things, different types of display, maybe level displays, that sort of thing, and uh, would be quite an interesting um, project. So I think that was worth what I paid for it, and it was quite an interesting kit to put together. Uh, I'm just going to try turning the lights down before I finish the video and see if I can get the flickering to stop so you can get a better idea as to what the display looks like. Okay, so that's better. Looks a bit bright now because it's dark in here, but it uh, gives you a better idea that uh, the flickering uh, is uh, because of the camera and it's not evident when you look at it directly. So, so quite a nice display. Not quite sure what it's displaying, but um, I'm sure that if we can find the instructions, uh, we can figure out what's going on. The time doesn't seem to be changing, so I'm assuming it's not actually running at the moment. I don't really know how to actually get it to do anything. So, uh, okay, interesting kit. It uh, does need the instructions to uh, really make uh, sense of what it's doing, but uh, I think it was well worth what I paid for it.